And on this episode of Finally Giving the Fans What We Want, we have this from Superhero Hype. But before we get into this, let me just first acknowledge that Marvel, yes, you guys have done a terrible job over the past few years. You have given us comic books that no one has ever given a shit about, for characters that no one cares about, sexuality changing them to a, to appease an audience of people that are clearly not buying your comic books. Comic book stores across the country are closing down because no one's buying your shit, but now you guys have done it. You guys have turned the ship around, you guys have righted the ship, you are doing the things that the fans want to see, never mind, I'm just fucking kidding with you they brought this character in from she hulk and gave her an mcu comic book debut worst of all it's wong talking to dr strange and he says tonight's to see the finale of the bachelor madison and i have been waiting weeks for it and she says wongers the bottomless g and t's are ready and dr strange just says enjoy she hulk was so bad that we're not getting a season two. We're never going to see this character again. We're never going to see this actress again in the world of Marvel because we shouldn't. The whole show is made by activists who had one intention and one intention only to make this show. And that was to stick it to the haters. And that's what they did. They spent a hundred million dollars making the worst show ever conceived by humanity. And now they're all not going to get a second chance as they shouldn't. And you know what? Fuck it. They might actually get a second chance. They might be in charge of the company in a year. Who knows? Disney is nothing but failing upwards. So you had a shit show that no one liked. And now you have a shit comic book that no one cares about. And you are combining these two things. And you're not going to sell anything. The logic going on in this company right now. Because right now, you don't even need a long-time die-hard comic book fan. It's not like they have to grab Gary from Nerd Rotic and he's going to write a billion series for Marvel and all that stuff. You could just grab some schmuck off the street that knows nothing about Marvel Comics, and they could create a better story than the people that are getting paid for this right now. We're, we're really at a point right now where they, they can't do anything right. They can't do anything right, and it's so it's so obvious, and it's so pathetic. And it's not going to end. And the bleeding is never going to stop because they think they're right. That's the worst part of this whole thing. And the numbers are not remotely reflecting that. They think, yes, we are going to make these comic books and everyone's going to like it. No one's buying your shit. No one's buying your stuff. No one's no one's pre-ordering this stuff. No one's making these long-ass deep-dive reviews online about this stuff. No one cares. And that's the world of... Of the Marvel writers today, they just live in some weird little bubble where they're given the freedom somehow to do whatever they want. And Kevin Feige is going to sign off on everything or whoever's in charge of this, this sinking ship. I don't even know if Kevin Feige is in charge of the comics division, but I almost feel like he should be in a way. Because wouldn't you want to have one massive voice kind of overcompassing everything? That he is being told little bits and pieces here of what's going on so he can better incorporate such things into the live action movies, into the live action shows. It just feels like it should be all one, one continuous engine right now and all the pieces working together. But it's not. They're working against each other. And that was the weirdest part of watching the behind the scenes for Multiverse of Madness. How the director was talking about how... They wanted to make Scarlet Witch the villain because they didn't want someone else to have the, the opportunity to play with that toy. They said, okay, we're, why should someone else get to do it? And Well, we can just do it ourselves. So now you have people that are making multi-million dollar movies that are not talking to each other. When the previous before Endgame movies, everyone was on the same page. Every single Marvel movie, every single moment led into something else. And that's where we're at to now. We, we're up to the point where no one knows shit. Everyone's doing their own independent thing. And it's it's not working at all. It's a shit looking comic. Just from this part right here though. just It looks terrible. And who in their right mind made this? Who in their right mind thought this is going to actually sell? And who's buying this right now? Can you imagine? Actually no, we all could. Um, I bet we right now could guess the, the weights and hair colors of all the people that are buying and consuming these products right now. So what do you guys think about that? Are you excited for Madison's comic book debut? Do you think she's going to be a titular character going forward? Worst of all, you think she's going to be in the movies? 
Do you think we're going to get a Madison cameo? I, I Honestly, I fucking wouldn't be surprised at this point, though. Let me know what you guys think about that.